Uh, you know, I believe in the law of attraction, and I believe that um, that you can speak things into existence. And I believe that um, once you, when you know where you're going and you know what you want, uh, the universe has a way of stepping aside for you. And uh, me signing my uh, my signature uh, with Champion 2011 on it, um, it can't hurt me. It can't hurt me. It could uh, it could only help me to believe it even more. You know. So uh, so so yeah. I mean, it works for me. His hands are too fast. His jujitsu is too good. His wrestling is good. He's too fast, too experienced. Can't beat his karate. Can't beat his timing. I've literally heard everything. Everything. I think it's kind of the other way around. You know, when you're a challenger, you kind of want to pick and choose who you fight so you can get where you want to be. Uh, and once you're the champion, I feel as if you fight whoever comes, you know, uh, whoever is the number one contender at the time or whoever the UFC gives me. I don't think my life has changed too much at all. You know, obviously you have to, you have to always reach for new levels mentally to, order to be able to keep up the pace that I'm at. Um, you know, I, I got more Twitter followers and, uh, than I used to. And that's really about it. Yeah, things are pretty much the same. Same coaches, same work ethic, same manager, same girlfriend, same everything. One by someone who's supposed to be much better than me, like someone that's not even close to supposed to be being as good. So I really try to step up and involve to a different level. And I took one that I admire him so much and that I respect him so much. Uh, you know, you know, I tried to play it off like, you know, it was you know these two lines, and it was two lines. But the truth is, you know, I look up to him a lot. You know, I've been watching him for a long time, and, and uh, you know that first press conference me and him had, you know, he kind of killed me. He was making all the jokes and. I was just like, I didn't know what to do. I was kind of sitting across from my, somebody I really looked up to. Uh, and then I realized and, and you know, evaluated that situation and realized that I didn't want to be a victim again and I would talk back. That's why I did so much talking this. Uh, this be huge, you know. Um, you know, I'm here to fight the best fighters in the world. And uh, Rashad is unquestionably one of the best fighters in the world. Uh, I believe that every fighter has special gifts. And uh, Rashad has, you know, the gift of speed. He has the uh, gift of, of grappling. And, uh, and I'm excited to see if I can conquer that. So, you know, so I've yeah. learned that I need to just trust myself a little bit more and not be intimidated um, you know, by, by people, what they had, and just to trust what I had. You know, like I said before, um, I definitely move very fluently uh, when I'm going against a heavy bag or a coach with Vince. And tonight, I, I kind of felt gangly and unorthodox and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uncoordinated at some points. I know that came from slight uh, insecurity in my attack. He, he hardly ever gets to see his family as much because he's always caring about fighters. There's so many fighters on, on his roster that, you know, they make $200 to fight. And he would travel to Japan to corner that guy, knowing that there's nothing in return for him. That's the type of guy he is. He's an amazing man who's dedicated his life to martial arts. And if you consider yourself a martial arts fan, you need to respect Greg Jackson. It, it's sad that people don't respect what this man is doing for this sport. It I'm really just really saying to myself that there's no no other place on the planet that I was meant to be. You know, uh, I think a lot of times people have a, far, a hard time uh, finding what their true purpose is on this planet. And um, I think it's the, it's the highest blessing to know what you're meant to do in this world. And I believe that I was meant to be a mixed martial artist. So, you know, being um, considered the best is my passion. It's, it's, it's what I'm fighting for. It's, it's what my life is about. And, um, you know, so uh, having Rashad Evans as an opponent, you know, it has nothing to do with, uh, uh, you know, wanting to be great and wanting to be Joe the best. I've gone, I've gone through so much worse than Chell Right. He's, he's, he's really nothing. And at the end of the day, like I said with Chell, he won't be remembered in history. He just won't. When they talk about all-time greats, he won't be remembered in history. Even when they talk about best pitch stare downs, Rampage will be. When they talk about some of the funny fighters, Rampage, you know, Shell just won't be remembered in history. Um, there's just so much I don't know, and there's so much great stuff that my teammates are way better than me. At. I'm just so happy to be one of, one of the better ones at merging them all together. The butterflies in formation, basically it means um, when you have butterflies and you're feeling anxious and, and you have anxiety or, or nervous, um, that's when you're most powerful, I believe. And uh, either you can, uh, yeah, you're most powerful. So um, a lot of people, instead of homing this power um, and using it, uh, they allow it to just consume them. You know, uh, there's another quote that says, um, 
a big challenge or big pressure is like a fire. It's like a raging fire. Either you can allow this fire to consume you and just take you over completely, or you can gain control of this fire and harness it, and you blow it right at your opponent like Dragon Ball Z style. All right, so that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, I try to get my emotions under control and use this adrenaline to my advantage.